Hello there, Zoe Joy here. Welcome to the first installment of Flow Talks, when I train or flow while talking about whatever I want. Today I'm gonna to be practicing with my dragon staff because I only know how to do like four tricks and it's time I had a proper practice session. Okay, let's get to the story. Once upon a time, there was a girl that lived in SoCal and she was a dog walker. She is me, by the way. Speaking in third person sounded fun, but now I'm kind of over it. <laughs> Anywho, I loved this time of my life. One of my childhood dreams was to become a dog walker. I try to live my life honoring all my little childhood dreams in some capacity. Life is too short to live with regrets. Ooh, you okay, girl? Okay now. Anywho, on one particular day, I was going to be walking one of my favorite dogs. He was a regular, I walked him every afternoon, and we became fast friends. I loved his owner too. Though we never met, she used to leave me the sweetest letters, and on Halloween, she even left me candy. Safe to say that walking this cute little dog was always the highlight of my day. One day, when I entered his house, I found a note like usual, only this note wasn't like the others. I found out that this was the last note I'd be getting from the owner, and the last time I'd be walking my beloved pup. The service had become too expensive for the owner, and she shared her regret in terminating service, but I understood. I was devastated. So I savored every second of our 30 minute walk together. And on the way home, I even held him in my arms. When we got back to the house, I gave him a big hug and said my final goodbye. Naturally, I walked home bummed and thought, how could this day get any worse? Oh, b just wait, cause something is about to go down. There was one major road I needed to cross to get home. So like any day, when I had the right of way, I began crossing the street. When I got to about the middle of one of the lanes, there was a car waiting to make a left turn. Then all of a sudden, they started making their way through the intersection. I thought, nah, it couldn't be. They clearly see me. But as I kept looking, they kept coming. And it was at the point of no return. There was nothing I could do. My head became flooded with thoughts. It's crazy how fast yet slow it all happened. My thoughts were screaming at me. Oh sh oh sh I'm really about to get hit by this car. And then it happened. The next thing I knew, I was laid out in the middle of the street. To be honest, it's kind of a miracle. The way the car hit me, I don't know how they didn't run over me. They were two little old black ladies, and they were so sad and apologetic. Thankfully, I wasn't hurt. I was more in shock than anything. Then, a fellow African-American man that saw the whole thing walked up and began shouting. Oh, sh he yelled. Then he proceeded to yell at the little old ladies, and I said, no, no, it's okay, don't yell at them. He then turned to me and said, oh, okay, you a strong black woman, and walked away. I watched him as he went on about his business, still on the ground, gathering myself. To think that even in this vulnerable moment, I was still labeled a strong black woman. I finally stood up and made my way home. I learned three valuable things that day. Sometimes good things come to an end. Sometimes life can be unpredictable. And sometimes it really do be your own <laughs> The end. Thank you so much for listening to this story time. Let me know if you'd like more of these because I surely had fun telling it. I'll see you next time.